Drake in game, do a song. What about it? And Drake comes to Compton to shoot the video. 100. He shot 100. it on Brazil and Wilmington. What all happened during that video? What was that? He pulled up. Drake gave us love. Stunner cleared it for me, didn't charge me. Drake didn't charge for the burst. Drake actually brought his film crew to film it for us. That's what he wanted to do. We was on the famous Brazil and Wilmington shooting it, you know, in the canal. And we had to move blocks. And you know, when we move blocks, we send the little homies to do what they need to do. <clears throat> Drake kind of seen some activity and, you know, shit. He did what a mother bill you supposed to do. He got out of there. So we sent somebody to get him. Bro, it's cool. That ain't for you. That's for us. Because you don't see any shit going on. But, you know, we moving blocks. We're not just going to hit the block without the block being right. So we had to make sure the homies, you know, when they cleared the block. He came back and we finished the video. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, I don't fault Drake for that. Man, that shit normal to us. We talking like shit. 2015, maybe, you know, that shit ain't normal for Drake. Drake maybe had been in the game, what, five years, six years or something? So, you know, I don't hold that against him. Was that his first time in Compton? First time with us. The game, I know, you know, I don't know if he had been there prior to. I hadn't seen him shoot nothing, <clears throat> do nothing with nobody else from Compton. Um, I know he had been on, I know Kendrick had went on tour with him, but I don't know if that happened. I don't know if they even, does Kendrick and Drake have songs together? I think they do in the early, the early years. Yeah, when he first went on tour, maybe, but uh, I don't know. But you know, Drake is Drake. You know, he. I feel he, um, he's still one of the top dudes. He's still out streaming. Up. He lost that, he lost that, that war with, with Kendrick, I feel, in the long run. And shit, you know, he's still up. I think, I believe Kendrick leveled him out. Because Drake been climbing. But Rocket climbing. I think Kendrick did this with him. And he's doing this. That don't stop him from turning that. Going up. What he didn't do is the the, the Rocket ain't came down. It ain't on his way down. He's, I think Kendrick leveled him out. First time we seen Drake take an L. When it came to the song. But he's still out streaming everybody overall. So, you know, we got just yet to see. I see he just dropped like a, a hundred piece. Like a hundred songs just dropped him. He dropped a hundred songs? Some crazy shit. Oh, he released like a hundred songs. And some crazy shit he just released. He just let him go. They ain't even up for sale. I think he just, right? So, you know, I don't know. I know he gearing up for something. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see on his next body of work, uh, his next business venture, business move. You know, I don't count him out. I still think he got a strong three to five years of life in him <clears throat> musically because he wants to do music. You know, I see Drake fading out, not fading out, but doing something else. I can see Drake owning his own label. You know what I'm saying? Like on some major shit. But um, <clears throat> did he, did he cancel him? Nah. Did he give him my, his first L? Yeah. What you think? Oh, well, yeah, Kendrick, obviously, yeah, he. Saying overall yeah, on the, on the, on the battle. He got hit out of that battle. Drake didn't. Drake just. He, All the media propaganda, the bullshit. Shit that happened 14 years ago, they acting like it happened today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, when the shit happened with the girl, she's 17, he's 21, 22. Nobody said nothing about it. Kendrick woke that shit up. It was like the 34-year-old, what, year old Drake just did that to a 17-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Like, a bunch of shit. He woke it up and it's like the trolls turned on him. But they still streaming his music. Is it over with for Drake? Nah. Nah, 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 man. Drake's, yeah, he, he's, he's too, yeah, he's, he's too big, man. Just a battle's not gonna take. He's not gonna take him out unless you got. This guy has to be crazy. And I'm gonna be real. I think Drake is bold. 
I think with Kendrick drop an album, I think Drake gonna drop an album. Drake might have dropped one on the same day. Okay. It's bold and it's risky. But you got to have some balls in this game to be the boss. If Drake outrun Kendrick, album to album, Okay. We have two L's on both sides. <laughs> yeah. The argument would no longer be an argument. Kendrick got him with the single. Drake got him with the album. Then the argument won't go, will be, well, which one would you rather? Would you rather win with the single or win with the album? In Kendrick's situation, the time he took off, the transition he went in, I think him winning with the single was great for him. It rejuvenated him and re-sparked him, right? If Drake wins with the album, it think it shows who he is and who he'll continue to be. But, you know, that's just me talking. We're going to see. You know what I mean? Uh, they got two different types of music. As far as I'm concerned, they both great. But uh, you can't count Kendrick out and you can't count Drake out. Both we're great gonna, artists. Yeah, we're going to sure. see. We're going to see how it goes. Well, a, a while back, I noticed that Game had Youngboy on his album, and then yeah. he had to take him off of it. Yeah. D can you can you break down what happened with all that? <clears throat> they sent us a bill for three hundred thousand. Some crazy, one fifty, three hundred, something crazy. Youngboy did it. He did it on on my call. I called him, put Game on the phone, talked to him, sent him the music. He he approved the music, laid the verse, sent it back. We put it on there. You know, this was our first time dealing with a young artist. These artists we deal with, they make the call into their label. Right? Um, where I fed up at, not thinking, I should have called Stunner. Kept stunning it. But young boy signed to Atlantic. When I called into Atlantic, politics is going on. They getting into it with young boy, young boy getting into it with them. Young boy didn't shut down the YouTube shit. The label like whack, we do it, and I couldn't say nothing because that label just showed me so much love. I couldn't push that line on them. They didn't clear shit, Cardi shit, they did all kind of shit. And I was like, <clears throat> they had they shit going on with each other. So I'm like, bro, we not paying that. We just pull it. I could have kept it on there and made them serve me. Then I, you know, they might would have up some relationships. I don't know. Um, I think if it came down to it, if I would have bucked back, I don't think Young Boy would have like did it that way. But I probably should have got Stunner involved. I wasn't thinking because he wasn't signed to Republic or Cash Money. But I know they got a great relationship, and Stunner ain't gonna let no play with me like that. I wasn't thinking. I should have put Stun in the middle of that. Probably would have went another way, but it went the way it went. You know, him and Gang spoke. I didn't talk to him. It is what it is. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.